Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to my home. You may know me as Dan Surprise or just Daniel for short. So today we'll be doing a house tour of my new home. We have basically just moved in in September 2020. Okay, this is actually a cluster bungalow house or you may call this a townhouse. Okay, so we will do a house tour on all four stories. Very excited to be sharing this with you. So let's go. Okay, so let's go in. I will show you guys the entire area first before going into details, okay? So you can see this staircase connects to the level 2 and this staircase connects to the basement. And this is our kitchen right over here. And our space has a very nice high ceiling which I really love. It has plenty of windows right over here. Plenty of natural lighting. As you guys can see, none of the lights are turned on. So these are all natural lighting so let's take a look at this area over here okay so this is basically the living area where i've placed my sofa and in front of a huge tv over here which is 82 inch so this tv console is custom made we have opted for a marble light texture it's actually a laminate not actual marble so the feature wall is also custom made so i've chosen a very nice textured feel with some kind of waves around it so it has very nice patterns we have placed some plants we love plants in our house all right on top of the tv console we have the digital clock right over here which is really important for us to tell the time our money plant is placed right in our money spot over here okay and you can see like a vase of um, artificial wheat so this money plant is just placed in front of this beautiful swimming pool which we will have a look later on and take a look at this view this view is just brilliant we have basically chosen this house because of this very nice view and it oversees the entire mini forest right over here all right so it has a very very nice scenery which i really love a lot if you take a look you can see the beautiful blue sky okay so let's move on to this section over here so behind the sofa we actually have a small little corner and this is usually where i do my work over here a nice little bar table with bar stools okay so this is basically the the area where i do all my work attend all my calls okay and right over here we have a hidden compartment so this is actually the toilet so we have actually created this um such that the toilet door is being blended in to the wall so it doesn't really look like a toilet door so if you open this there is another door inside okay so this is basically the toilet the toilet we didn't do much we didn't basically didn't do any renovation because the original condition is actually very well done already so we did not do any um renovation in the toilet okay so right over here you can see like a mini jacuzzi so maybe let's move on to the exterior okay so next to my study there's actually a very nice patio where you can have your breakfast over here have your lunch or maybe even your dinner so yep so we got this um, furniture set from Taobao which is really nice I love it it's very modern and unique and it can actually produce lights when you turn it on so it has a, a chargeable function okay so let's take a look at the swimming pool so this swimming pool is really long so it stretches across the entire 11 units over here so take a look at this so really love the beautiful scenery so it has a very nice resort feel so it's very peaceful over here okay so let's take a look at the other area so this patio actually connects to a little um, personal private jacuzzi over here which we you know we, we don't really use it we seldom use it we are thinking of actually covering this up to make it um level and if you take a look at this um this actually connects to our front yard which i will show you guys later on okay so let's move on to the other side okay so this is our island table which we have custom made this is made of quartz it's really nice so this table is roughly about a hundred centimeters tall which is um, higher than a normal table so we have some 
bar stools over here and there's a cabinet where we put all our stuff right over here and Tutu is just resting over here <laughs> okay so yep let's take a look at this so we have a mini shelf where we place all our um, snacks for the kids and a coffee, coffee machine an espresso coffee machine and we've placed all the capsules inside this um, espresso container which is really nice I love it and we have this little CCTV so we can actually monitor the entire place while you're working over here so sometimes we actually do our work over here as well so we have some nice coasters which is um, you know the colors of this is actually blended with the entire house as well as this um, tissue box is this is made of real marble so it's really nice as well I got this from Taobao okay so the kitchen the entire cabinets are all custom made all newly made but this oven was left um, behind by the previous owner but you know it's working really well and we didn't didn't change it and you can actually oversee um the front yard over over here it's kind of messy we are placing all our clothes over here but you can see there's a nice mini garden right in front of us okay so there are two kitchens one is the dry and one is the wet kitchen so this is basically where we do our dishes and this is basically where we do our cooking and there's a nice sliding door to actually segregate these two sections okay all right so let's move on so there's a door right beside the kitchen which connects to the front and the backyard so let's take a look yeah so it's kind of messy right now as you guys can see this is connected to um, the jacuzzi and the front swimming pool so this is where we place our um, washing machine yeah there's nothing much to show it's kind of messy and this connects to the front yard uh, yeah it's very narrow we have placed some clothes over here okay so now let's move out of the main door and take a look at this so this is basically our own garden right over here it's the entire stretch so we are free to plant whatever plants that we want it's a very long stretch okay so there's a staircase connecting to our front door so at the side, you'll be able to see um, our own little space over here. So we have placed some plants. So we have plenty of space to put, all, uh, put other plants if we want to. Okay, so that's basically level one for you. All right. So maybe let's go and take a look at what we have on the second level. Okay guys, so right now we are going up to level 2 but before that I want to show you guys what we have done to our flooring right over here. So we have basically removed all our previous parquet flooring and just tow it over with fresh light color shade vinyl. And this goes very well with our color scheme which is black, greys and um, very light brown. Okay, so let's go up. Okay, let's go. So this is basically the staircase. Alright. And it has a very nice um, full height window over here, really high, okay, and this blind is actually the original blind left by the previous owner. And we have a beautiful lamp over here which we have just purchased from a store. And right over here, there is another full length window from the bottom all the way to the top. And you can actually take a glimpse at um, our pool and of course the beautiful scenery out there. Okay, so let's go up to level two. Okay. So this is basically the hall of level two, and I call this place the Jurassic Midlands. Okay, let me just turn on the lights for this shelving right over here. As you guys know, I am a dinosaur um, collectible collector, and this is basically where I place all my Jurassic World um, figures. Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. So just to do a quick intro, so I've placed some huge dinosaur figures on top of these shelves. All these shelves are, um, were custom made, all right? And check this out. This is where I place some of my boxed figures. Figures still in the boxes, and this row is for mini figures. Some of the carnivores from you know, Jurassic World Mattel. So basically, this entire shelf is filled with Mattel dinosaur figures. And every single dinosaur is placed neatly according to their series and their breeds and I've placed them um, accordingly too like 
the herbivores and carnivores. So very neatly placed. And another row right over here. And this is the Indoraptor collection. And this base is handmade by myself. Okay. Different boxes right over here. And this is my YouTube play button. My 1 million subscriber play button right over here. This means a lot to me. So I've placed all the awards from YouTube in this particular shelving. And here are some of the vintage Jurassic Park figures. T-Rex collection, Indominus Rex, more box figures. So this is like a diorama. So this is the scene where the Mosasaurus was um, ambushing the people in the submarine. And while they were cutting off a piece of the rib cage from the Indominus Rex. And this is the Baryonyx where it was actually chasing um, Claire. Okay, and more Jurassic Park figures. All these are Jurassic Park figures, very vintage, all the way back in 1993. And on top, you can see more T-Rex. Okay, so this is basically a space where I can make my videos and just place all my dinosaur figures over here. So I call this the Jurassic World Midlands. Okay, next, let's take a look at the kids' room. Okay, so this is the kids' room. This is basically the original room. So we've actually partitioned this room into two sections. One is for Darius, which is uh, who is my son. And next section is actually for area. And yes, we have built this partition wall and this little gl glass panel to separate them. So in future, when they uh, have grown up, we will actually put some privacy film um, over this full height window right over here. It has a beautiful window, really huge. We have actually drawn the blinds down for now. So we've kept the, their bedrooms really simple because basically we just want them to be in the bedroom um, only when they're sleeping. So they won't, they won't, they won't spend too much time in their bedrooms. Um, yeah, so they will spend most majority of the time with us in the living area. Yeah, there you go. So this is the area for um, Darius. So Darius has his own guitar over here, his own bookshelf. Um, a place where I can put some magnets. So basically kept the kids room really simple, okay? And this is like a little aisle to the toilet. So let's go in and take a look. Switch on the lights. Okay, so yep. So there you go, this is the, the toilet right over here. Okay, so didn't do much to the toilet. This is basically the original condition of the toilet which is still very very new all right and this is the place where they actually put their books some of their clothes inside here as well okay let's move to the next section okay let me just turn off the lights for our shelf this is actually the master room but i've actually kept this room for our parents yep so we didn't do much to this room as well just basically changing the flooring so the flooring is really nice. We, we love this shade. It's a very light shade of a brown. And it has a beautiful scenery. Take a look at this. We really love this um, scenery right over here. So it gives us the feel that we are at a resort or at a countryside. So we, we love the feeling of getting really close to nature. So this is a, like a nice bay window over here. We have placed some cushions so you can just sit over here and just relax. Okay. And this section is basically like a walk-in wardrobe right over here. So I've changed the doors of the wardrobe, but the interior is basically the original condition, which is so new. It's basically like brand new. So we've saved quite a lot of money just on that. And this is the toilet. The toilet is really nice as well. This is the original condition of the toilet. It has a uh, little bathtub right over here and a beautiful sliding window where you can just over um, see the entire beautiful scenery once again. It also has a standing area for shower. So a glass door right over here and it comes with 
rain shower which is really nice and this is like a huge uh, mirror it's like all the way to the top so the pretty large mirror right over here and this is um, the toilet area so the entire toilet is really clean and new it's made of marble flooring so it's really nice so we didn't do we didn't spend a single cent to renovate a toilet at all so this is basically the original condition which it's so so great all right so let's go yep there's another window so what i love about this house is that you know every single room has plenty of windows every corner is very well designed and well made and i love the really tall ceiling okay so let's move on to level three okay okay next we'll go up to level three okay so as you guys can see once again it has a very very high ceiling right over here and a full height window so we have the blinds drawn down for privacy purposes okay so take a look so we will go all the way up but at this side beside this staircase up to level three there's a very nice little window over here which oversees our um, um, sky garden okay so let's go up and have a look okay so once you reach level three you will have this mini hall right over here so this is like a um an area where agnes she does her, her nails sometimes she conducts classes right over here we have placed a mini couch right over here okay so as we come up on the left is actually our bedroom and on the right is actually the balcony so this is where the, the beautiful things happens over here so i'm really proud of um, this little balcony really happy with this balcony but let me just um pull up this blind so that we can actually go out together okay so let me just pull up the blinds to let the lights come in first okay there's another blind right over here but let's take a look at this shelf over here so this is another shelf and i call this the level three colossus let me just switch on the lights to show you guys what figures we have okay so this is basically the shelf where i place all the realistic figures over here so at the top you can see some super colossal figures they are really huge as you guys can see all right so right the lights are blocking the figure so we have the brachiosaurus we have blue the velociraptor we have in indominus rex and tyrannosaurus rex and this is a godzilla so if you take a look at all these figures these are very realistic figures and i've placed them accordingly to their brands so the first row is actually nanmu which is a um, new brand from china which is really up and coming so second row we have papo figures okay you, you can't really see well but i love the way that um, um i'm able to display the dinosaur so i've basically purchased um a lot a lot of um the acrylic stands to to raise to provide depth while displaying the figures so i not go into too much details on this so this is the area where agnes does her nail stuff over here so she would do some drawings over here and you can see there's a beautiful drawing of um demon slayer characters right here all her nail products are placed over here at her convenience so every single product is being placed into different compartments and drawers she has a color palette over here so that she can actually allow her customers to choose there's a little tv over here which says no video sound recording but you can take photo this is because agnes will be conducting um tutorials will be conducting lessons for her students right over here and then you, you do not want your students to record your your teaching sessions and then share them online for um, um you know without any <laughs> revenue earned by herself and this is actually a little couch that we have placed over here a little armchair and with a mini bar okay where you have some drinks inside some soda you have some some beer you have some some snacks as well so i, I love to sit here at night and just chill here and just um, play some games and just just chill out next let's go out to this sky garden okay i call this the sky garden or, or should i say the, the balcony 
so we have purchased this um outdoor set from ikea so basically you can sit down just relax have a chat have some drinks together so once again it oversees the entire view so it's really nice okay and it's very really quiet over here i said that you will get sounds of birds every now and then okay but this balcony it's really really huge okay it's not like the usual kind of balcony that you, you see in condominiums but it's really huge balcony so the place many plants over here so let me just wear my flip flops so we have a rapsberry plant over here some this is called bird of paradise we have some norfolk um, pine plant over here and some um, I, I can't remember the name of this plants but basically we're trying to create like a um, mini garden over here and also this plants actually help to provide shade and block out the sunlight because the, the sun can be pretty strong when it comes to the evening time so these plants have to create a nice greenery so I've placed some pebbles over here to, to create like a resort view but we, we still need more pebbles and stones to cover this area over here but basically yeah so right now I have a new hobby which is just like pruning all these plants and these are all, all pretty much my work Agnes has no part in this she's very lazy when it comes to, to pruning the plants so it's all myself okay <laughs> okay so yeah it's really nice I really love this view over here I'll probably get more plants to place at this corner right here probably maybe not okay so let's move in again so yeah and this little vest um, belongs to Agnes it's like some dried flowers I'm not a huge fan of this because it always drops little leaves little um, what you call this little particles little uh, ferns all over the place and to be honest I really hate this but this is her favorite <laughs> okay she she says that you can take beautiful pictures with this all right we have placed a money plant you know so that it will actually give us like fortune and it's growing really well so if you take a look at this you can see many new sprouts coming out one two um three it's really nice it's growing really well and yes um let me just switch off the lights so basically you can see other figures right over here so if you guys are interested to see my collection in details go on to dan surprise my channel to find out more about my collection so you have beautiful slight figures right over here so i've created this entire diorama to make it really nice so sometimes when kids are here with the parents doing the nails you can also take a look at uh, my figures okay let's go into the bedroom okay, the bedroom is kind of dark at the moment because all the blinds are being drawn down but um let me just turn on the lights okay so this is our bedroom is very very simple we have a, a bed over here and this is actually a storage bed we have placed a rug in front of the, the storage bed so sometimes tutu can come up and rest um, along with us so we have plenty of pillows yeah we love a lot of pillows so it's basically very simple um this table it's being used for agnes um, um lessons so when she has her lessons we'll just um we'll just carry the table out onto this area right over here with a nice dyson fan of course we have our air conditioner right over here the windows are pretty huge so the toilet it's a very small toilet because this is actually not a master room but we love level three so we have actually chosen level three as our um, um main room so this is a custom made um, mirror which I really like it's a, it has a nice black frame and it has a nice window which can oversee uh, the scenery so we didn't do a single thing for the toilet this is all original condition the tiles on the wall the floor is all very perfectly done very good condition previously the tenants they did not use this room at all so this room is pretty much in the best possible condition we have kept our color scheme um, in terms of shades of grays as well so light gray and dark grays so keep it really simple all our um, renovation are really really simple so this is basically the third floor so i will show you guys what we have in the basement
Okay guys, so right now let's go to the basement. Alright, so the basement, the staircase connecting to the basement is just next to our kitchen. So let's go down. Okay, so as per usual, we have changed the entire flooring for here. Alright, and this is our basement. So it comes, okay, this is this door actually leads to our car porch. And uh, on the left hand side, there's actually a storeroom or rather like a um, helper's room. So, but my helper actually sleeps with our kids, but she has her own area right over here, her own resting area, her own cabinets over here. And this is like a little aisle where it leads to a bathroom, okay? And right over here is where Agnes plays all her nail products, her nail stocks, because she's actually a distributor of some nail products, okay? So let's see. Okay, this portion right here is actually my studio. So let's go in. Let me just turn on the lights. Okay, so I'll show you guys the overview of this room. Okay, so this is basically where I make my videos. Okay, so we have a nice huge table, white table, which is really important. So it has a nice white background behind and some shelves. And I got these shelves from Ikea. So I've basically play some of the figures over here. They're basically like extras of some of the figures that don't really fit into Jurassic World Midlands or, or Level 3 Colossal. And these are some of um, my awards and um, some of my photos. So these are basically things which mean a, mean a lot to me. My family photo, my wedding photo, some of the awards I've won um, in my company, the, the company where um, I'm doing my full-time job, a certificate from YouTube, Dragon Ball reminds me of uh, my, my childhood. So some of the huge figures on top from PNSO, okay, Ceratosaurus and um, what's that? Uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of this. It's not an Argentinosaurus, it's not, um, um, oh, I can't remember, sorry guys. Okay, so this is another shelf, and I call this the Basement du Dino Dungeon. So I basically kept all those figures, like from Safari LTD Collecte, right over here. Okay, I possibly have the biggest collection in Singapore. Alright, and here is another shelf where I keep some of the Jurassic World stuff, like the eggs, some of the figures which I intend to paint, some of the masks over here, and inside this cupboard. So this cupboard I have some oops oh my goodness one of the dinosaur figures just dropped some of the vintage um stuff are over here like dino rider some of my basketball collection the football collection i'm a huge fan of um uh, manchester united and san antonio spurs okay so let's go on and have a look at this this is a storeroom where we place all our toys for the kids so this room also serves as a playroom for the kids because they will just carry some toys and just play on this rug over here. So yeah, this is a very messy store room, but that's fine. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at our car porch. Okay, so we have a personal car porch. So let's open this. Yep, this is the car porch right over here. So it's a huge space. So we have a bench, uh, which is also like a cabinet, and a shoe rack over, over here. So we have a fridge right over there to keep some of our frozen food. Some, you know, we have some boxes right over here, but this is basically a um, pretty huge space. You can actually park two cars right over here. Yep, that's right. So, yeah. Okay guys, so that's the end of our house tour. So I've basically covered every single floor, which is like four stories, basement, level one, level two, and level three. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do have any questions about our house or any questions, you can just drop me a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be uploading more on this channel, more gaming videos, more vlogs. So subscribe if you haven't do so and subscribe to Dan Surprise as well. Goodbye.